last we left off, we were uh, going on another mission in the same sector, eh? Yes, you were told that you were going to be sent back, and then somebody changed their minds. Mm -hmm. No great surprise there. But, um, yes, you guys were more or less being sent on another mission to go retrieve somebody. You were asked to go retrieve a, a uh, friend of uh, Victor's, apparently. Someone that's on the wrong side of the war currently, since they're in... Star Strider Industries CEO. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> and you guys have been asked to go retrieve him. Aren't you all excited? Yeah. I'll take that as a yes. The dead silence is always a yes, <laughs> right? I have no idea who this person is. Besides being a CEO, which means they're important. I mean, I mean <laughs> that that is all you guys know about them. Yes. <laughs> Never met the guy. <laughs> He's some CEO. What do you want? Some CEOs are dicks. Some CEOs are... You know, seem like nice guys. Well, you know what? We don't care. And I have a taser. So if he doesn't want to come with, he's coming with. I'm sure he'll come with. Well, as a reminder, you are going to retrieve him at the request of uh, Victor, the guy that's actually, you know, in charge of the war efforts. Mm -hmm. Apparently they know each other. Yeah. It's also a, you know, we started it off with the Big Bang. Yes. Oh, there was a very large bang. <laughs> um, well, we have a lot of one-armed people in our crew now. Join the, join the party. Who else is one-armed now? I know you only have lieutenant. One. That's right. The lieutenant lost an arm. Uh, the sniper? Uh, she met lost multiple limbs. But I managed yeah. to get her out. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, the robot? Alive. He's a robot. That one doesn't really count that much. <laughs> he still lost an arm. Speaking of lost limbs, what do you want to do with your wounded? What is the, what is the plan with them? I'm going to build them arms. I mean, I've got a full medical set up in the damn ship. Well, yes. I meant, what are you planning to do with them? Like, do you plan to just leave them in the medical wing? Do you plan to try to, like, do something about the fact that some of them are missing limbs? I don't know. I'm just asking. You don't really have to do anything. I mean... Blast will hang out and do what he can, but he's not the medical guy. He's just the hangs out because they're walking wounded. Oh, like I said, you don't really have to do anything. You can just leave them in the medical wing. I was just asking if there was something in specific everybody wanted to attempt or not. That's all. Uh, and if the answer is you're just going to leave it alone, then you just leave it alone. Uh. I'll visit the lieutenant, and I'm going to ask for the parry blade, because I'm going to fix it for her. I'm going to ask if it's you intact. have... It's Yeah, it's chipped. I mean, a little bit, but nothing horrible. I'll ask her if she wants it repaired, and if she, she would like me to have a measurement of her remaining arm so I can make her a new one, if that's what she would like. Yeah, when you bring up replacing the arm, you watch as she actually gets a thoughtful look. She's like, oh no. It's a proud tradition to have a missing limb among the priests of the father. Mm. Well, I'll leave it up to you. The sniper is certainly going to want a new arm. They are not comfortable with 
<laughs> missing an arm. The, the question I'll let her is, roll it over. And I'll go to the sniper, and I will... Is it just his arm, or does he have, like, a leg, too? She's missing an arm and a leg. I'll take measurements and weight and whatnot for the two remaining you, limbs to make the opposite limbs. <laughs> you don't actually know how to make cybernetics. You know that, don't you? They don't have to make sense, Liam. Okay. You told me this particularly. I said not everything needs to make sense. I was just asking, I was just pointing out that, you know, you don't actually know how to make an arm or anything. I got spare robotics. I can study it for a bit. Well, you want to buy some knowledges, maybe? or Most likely, yeah. That's what I was going to do. Buy some knowledges and make some... Uh... Well, first and foremost, what was Johnny going to say? Because he started to say something. <gasps> no, it's okay. Uh, I... I, I it's, uh, lost my lips. So, uh, yeah, Matt, just get some knowledges. You got some merit, well, don't you? you do have your cloning thing. Um... Uh, my cloning thing is like not available currently. Uh, do you think you could like stem cell grow them new limbs? Uh, maybe if I had a lab on this ship, but I don't since it's the frigate. Fair. Um, you know, I'll do something kind of like a. This is what we got available now. And then once we got everything up and running, um, that might be a cool exclusive service that we would have for staff on board. It's just we have the ability to regrow your limbs. Lost a limb? Let's replace it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll read up on it. Buy a bunch of knowledges. Um, I'll also ask the sniper if he has any preferences, such as like, up, like specific upgrade things like uh, fast she reload. Would like, she would like to just have an arm back, thank you. You don't, uh, you don't want the arm to be, be able to pull out extra ammo from the Right end. now, she's just worried about having an arm I, again. I, quick question. Uh -huh. Quick question. Yes. Uh, with Blatt's last question, um, was there any merit from last session? Because I have an idea. Oh. Didn't I give you guys merit last session? I'm currently at 320. 300. I am at 321. 321 sounds fun. Um, I, How but... do you have 321 <laughs> when you multiply <laughs> 320? I, I, I don't know. That's what it, 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 my total says. Then you have done math wrong somewhere because nobody's gotten extra merit. That's entirely fair. I, I don't know what you spend the one on. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know where you got a <laughs> single extra point of merit <laughs> from. Why? <laughs> but um, because that's we It's weird that you're off by exactly one. <laughs> All right. But my question is, involving my capabilities, because my regen allows me to regenerate even limbs. Eventually, yes. Can it I just takes time? Can I put some merit into that to develop it and be able to share it? Uh, develop it certainly. Share it. Uh, depends on what methodology you want to go through here, because the answer is largely dependent on what you want to actually do to share it. Are you trying to create? Like an aura of healing type thing? Or are you trying to do it as a I touch people and they heal? Are you trying I, to do this via like I was a, mm, good. I, I was thinking more along the lines of touch somebody and they heal. Jesus back. Uh you could make it a complex action, a sustained action, and what it does is it grants a portion of their your region to them while you sustain it for however many turns. Oh, I've uh I've got plenty of things we could use for this. I was only asking what flavor he's going for here. Yeah, the flavor flavor. Yeah, th this is more of a 
personal he's helping them in his mindset, which is why it would end up being the equivalent of sits there, puts a hand on the shoulder, and they begin healing type. Is it psionics? Yeah, that's the next part of it. Are you trying to do this via psionics? Are you trying to do this via the dark seed, which can accomplish this as well? What what I medium mean, are we using? I mean, my regeneration came from the dark seed, so it would make sense that it's a growing from that. It would have to grow from that, then. Yeah, because it was one of his gifts from the Forgotten. Then yes, you would have to go through the Forgotten's gifts to actually make that to be a let me spread my power along thing. Which is completely fine. I just need, I just needed to know as to yeah. what our medium was, and now we know. Alright. So in that case. Hmm. Sympathetic healing. The way the Forgotten's going to handle this for how he normally does these sort of things, because you're going through his power set for it, his uh, gifts, Mm -hmm. it's not going to be fun for you. Yeah, I figured I'm going to be the one suffering the pain. Yes, it's going to be very straightforward, I think. It's going to be, Mm -hmm. you take the wounds onto yourself. Instead of just healing them, you take the wound onto yourself, and then you just... That's it. You just you, you, It's now your wound, and you heal it as normal. But that person would regenerate from said injury. Yes, you would be the one that has to go through the process of healing instead. So, that's not really a problem, that's just a so, thing. So the next question I have to ask is, we were told it was going to take about a week to get to the next location? Roundabout, yeah. And to regenerate a limb, we figured before, is going to take me two to three days. What's your points per thing? Uh, what do you mean points per thing? How many heal? How many points do you heal per like day, turn, etc.? Uh, my current regen, let me look, is 10 per turn. Mm, yeah, about, um, about four days, yeah. No more than that. It depends on how, it, it largely depends on how many things you're regrowing. If it's just like a hand, it'll take a day or two. If it's an entire limb, it'll take, um, three to four. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then if it's multiple limbs, it might take longer because it has to get spread around. Not All by right. Horrible and how degree, much but... merit is this going to cost me? Well, let's see. You haven't purchased any sharing things before like this. Nope. I haven't purchased anything into this path. That's right. You've only been developing it through training so far, right? Yep. What are you sitting at for your regen training right now? How many... How much time have you put into it? Because it basically gives you a free, like, X point upgrade. What I did initially was I got the ability initially at five, and then with down, I spent the initial downtime to increase it, which is what increased it to 10. Mm-hmm. That's the, that was a five that, point upgrade. And otherwise, I haven't put anything into it. Okay. So, what this will end up costing you is 10 merit, then. Um, Because it'll be the... It'll replace the next upgrade to your regen from... Instead of just giving you more regen, it's going to do this instead. Because that's the simplest way to handle this. And... I'm assuming it would then cost me 15 to increase the regen again. Yes, and that'll what that'll end up doing is it'll end up increasing the regen rates, like the actual numbers you're moving. Okay, for... and how much would it increase by? Because I'm currently at 10. Oh! You're currently at 10? Didn't I have it 
What did I have it based off of originally? Didn't I have it originally based off of... You had it originally based off my toughness. Yeah. And my toughness has since gone up to 60 with an unnatural of 1. Mm-hmm. So... Mm. How... So the question then is, how much would it go up by? Because initially with the training, it just doubled from 5 to 10. Yeah. Okay, so it goes off of your... I've been having it go off of your baseline. I believe the first upgrade allowed you to use your unnaturals. At least is what it should have done. Okay, so I should increase my regen to... 12? 12? Yeah, and then the All next right. one... The next one will increase it by a flat of your toughness bonus again. So it would go up by six again. Yeah, it'll go up by six again. Not by the unnatural, just the normal, yeah. un un the normal but it, one. But it would expedite the healing. Yes, it does make it faster for you to heal that way. Then I, and that would be, is it because it's down a different way, would it still cost 10? Or would it cost no? Again? That would be the fifteen upgrade. Eh, it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a very good um, extra power to have for your teammates too. It's it's mm -hmm. support power. So, and it which, doesn't cost you anything to do other yep. than merit. Which is the point where I come walking in while everybody's debating limbs, and I'm just it blast is going to look at the sniper and be like, "I can give you your arm back." She's Can he place? regenerate multiple limbs at the same time? It... So you're going to basically get their crit damage, is what you're going to be getting. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have to heal it as you'd normally heal it. So yes, the regen's going to work on that. Uh, that's it, though. It It's just a transferring of somebody else's crit damage to you. But So with my current regen being what it is, how long would it take for me to grow a new limb. Um, are you only going to do one limb at a time, or are you trying to do the full set at once? That's the only other question I have on you. If you want to do it one limb, it's going to take you for an entire limb four days until you get your next upgrade. Even though I bought the next upgrade? Do you have the merit? I, 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 I was sitting on 25 merit. That's why I was asking. Do you have Hardy? Uh, so you bought the 10, and then you bought the 15, so you dropped it. Okay. Do you so, have Marty? Yeah, I got that a while back okay. from That's training. That's why I'm allowing him to use the regen to regrow limbs. Because uh, otherwise, I wouldn't normally let you without an upgrade, but you bought Hardy, so... Mm -hmm. I was letting that combo. It's one of the best. So... Um, with the new upgrade... To do one limited time, it'll take about two days. And we have seven to ten before we get there, because he doesn't have the if full you... understanding right now. He'd probably do it a limited time. Yeah, I was about to say, if you, the more you do, like the more limbs you do at a time, the longer it takes to yeah. heal, because you're overloading your system a bit. Mm-hmm. So, it, Lieutenant was down limbs two, correct? Lieutenant's down one limb. The so. sharpshooter was down two limbs. And then the robot you cannot help. Yeah. Because so it's a robot. Because of loyalty and training and everything, he's going to go to the lieutenant first and be like, I can give you your limb back. She's debating whether or not she wants the limb back. Yeah, that was the whole it's debacle. A, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> debacle. There's a proud <laughs> tradition among uh, fire priests to wear your wounds as a badge of honor. So she's questioning whether or not she even wants to have somebody heal it, or if she just wants to walk around displaying that she has lost a limb in combat. Depends on if it's her, you know, her battle hand or not. Her main hand. For them, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. No, because oh, if it, because like I said, it that one is her trying to make a decision on. Sharpshooter definitely wants her limbs back, and she's missing an arm and a leg. So she very much want would like those back. Thank yeah. you. So it'll just be like you'll just look at her and be like, all right, which one first? Leg. 
Okay. Side of gone with leg, yeah, because then you would connect, walk around. <laughs> if and you, huh? honestly, if you do both at once with your regen, that'll be five days down for both at once. So it's up to you as to how you want to handle it. You can either it's either basically if you take your time and do one after the other, it takes four days, and it's a day extra if you do both at once. As Fair enough. It, it'll just yeah. it'll just look at her and be like, "All right, let me help you stand up first. She's like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, no, sounds good. Yeah, no, no." She's not complaining. Helps her stand up, sits down on the bed himself, and will just do the transfer. <laughs> So you can describe how her limbs pop back. Um. So, first and foremost, we're gonna we're gonna go over what it feels like for you, yeah. as you can feel the very wounds that she was dealt being transferred over to you. You mm-hmm. feel the pain of a burning faith as it rips through you like tissue. Yep. It's a pain you haven't experienced before. You've never really experienced burning. Not like this. Yep, yep. It's just like, fuck those guys. <laughs> and so. now is where I pay true to my sentences of, I don't always tell you everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you now, because of how you're healing, you're still going to heal. But... This was a faith-based attack from somebody with very strong faith. Mm-hmm. Normally, these wounds can't be healed, period. It actually takes the power of another deity to fix them. If somebody here had just slapped an artificial limb onto them, it would have been rejected. As the stump would have actually burned it away and melted it. Interesting. In essence... The attacks of a uh, follower of the Burning God, as powerful as a paladin, are not healable unless another deity interferes. But you picked a method where you are tapping into the Dark Seed. So it's just going to make it more uncomfortable and a bit longer to heal. It's going to take about a week for it to heal. Joy. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you're still going to heal. Yep. yep. It just yep. takes longer. But, but yep, nope. It, it, it's just amusing because it sits on the bed and then hit, t- pokes her and then his arm and leg fall off. Wait, are you doing both limbs? Because that's going to take two weeks. That is not what you said. You well, said that's... both limbs would take an extra well, that... day and then what did, what when we just went say... over... What did I just what did I just say about now this is where I give you info based off of what you didn't know. You didn't know that the attacks had an unhealing quality to them. I was giving you if well, it's just a limb. I'm we actually did from no, last no, no. session. Do the one limb because I was assuming that's what you were doing based off but of your That isn't statement. what I had said. But fine. So I'm Unless you want to take it longer. No, it's fine. So his leg will fall off? Yes. Uh, No, not fall off. Turns to ash. Fair enough. You guys basically watch his limb burn off. And you get to watch his face go through the contortions of someone who's going through a limb being burned off. Yeah, it's friend. Yeah, it's a she bitch. Looks, she looks incredibly relieved. This is also where you get to find out that um, that doesn't stop hurting. Yep. Yep. Even pain meds don't fix that pain. Mm-hmm. It would seem that the deity that uh, they follow has a pension for suffering. Mm-hmm. Imagine that the burning god likes to see other people burn, like he Who does. Knew. What? No. <laughs> Terrible, really. Right. But that's it. 
Otherwise, yep. um, there's no other complications to it. You will take it'll just take a little like it's gonna take days longer than you expected. If you do two at once, now that you know about the unhealing quality, it does take significantly longer. This is not a good or comfortable process. Yep. Yep. Ah, Let's on get that to note. be miserable for a while. Oh yes. <laughs> But the sharpshooter can walk again, and she's very, very grateful. Uh, hmm. After this next mission, once my leg's back, I'll give you your arm back. <laughs> she's like, that's fine. So, you guys are traveling deeper into Fed territory, though. You are seeking out Star Strider Industries headquarters because Star Strider Industries is indeed headquartered out of the Federation. This is their home country, as it were. Who would have thunk it? Um, yeah. Star Strider was born in the Federation when it comes to, like, the industry. And then the Doomco, who you work for, was born on Old Earth. If you want to have, like, that as, like, a uh, frame of reference for where things started. It tends to lean towards different mindsets for that as well, for how companies are run. Regardless, it's going to take about, uh, you're told it's going to take about a week to fly there straight. As you do start making your way along, you know, traveling through Fed space, you do find yourselves sooner than expected having to avoid federal patrols. Because, unfortunately, your ship has been marked as being hostile. What with it having taken on the people that were running from blowing up a base. All it means is that your pilot is having to put some extra work in to avoid enemy patrols. That's all. A little extra time. Wandering around doing repairs. <laughs> with <Basically>. a crutch. <laughs> and, yeah, no, that, and that, that pain does not get better. That whoever whoever designed their powers to continuously make you suffer, you now hate them. You now hate that paladin. Very quietly. Or loudly. Mm -hmm. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. Very loudly. <laughs> but traveling along, getting moving. Uh, boo -boo -boo, let me make a couple of rolls real quick. Let me see. All right. All right, so as you're traveling along, there will only be one major event. Uh, I will tell you now, you don't really have a super strict time uh, like timetable for this job. Like they want you to retrieve him, but when you get there is when you get there. You're not sure why that is at this point because you were just told to go there. You know what I mean? But. It gives you some leeway. As part of that, you do, as you're traveling, uh, have something crop up on your radar. An emergency signal. Good old-fashioned SOS. It's just a question of whether or not you want to investigate or if you just want to be like, eh, who cares? I mean... Why not? Mm. Yeah, well, two things. First, the ident of the vessel. Taking a look at the identifications on it, it is a civilian vessel. It is one that is federal. It is a federal citizen, but it is civilian. Second question. Uh, closest patrol. Why haven't the other federal individual or patrols, the official patrols, picked it up and done something about it? 
you do not have the information to answer that question. It's a good question, but you don't have any info for that. Alright. Um, based I'm just... on... Go ahead. No, go ahead. Um... I was going to say, based on the patrol patterns, did we get lucky and just happen into a spot that they don't go through very often? Because we've seen their patrols up, which means we've been able to track the patrol patterns. You have a and mid idea of what their kind of patrol patterns are. It's not like you guys have other like anything outside of a fair small sample size for that. But from what you have seen thus far, a patrol probably should have picked this up. It's possible because there is already a few reports coming in from the front that normal patrols are getting rapidly shifted right now because you know there's a war on and already there's been more damage to the federal fleet than they initially expected from the first assault so it's getting pretty pretty nasty already um i just have a really cautious approach about this boss because yes the federal vessel patrols should have picked it up unless it's been super recent so one of the big things we need to worry about is pirates because the pirates have been contracted with us to hit targets uh, and this could be a delaying tactic specifically used to pull patrols away um, because of the pirates or it's a wolf in sheep's clothing for how long it's been running, there are usually timestamps as to when these start. It's about three days old. Given the section of space you're in, even odds of whether or not that would be a normal thing to have take you know that long, because you're kind of in a section of space that's not horribly heavily trafficked, but if you think that our normal patrol should have picked it up. But, like I said, you're also dealing with a war zone. You're, it's not like they have... Like, you're, like they're, they're having to redirect forces right now. So... Meh? I'm giving you meh. It, it, it could be normal, it could not be. Well, we'll leave it up to the captain and the owner of the ship. It's his call. Um, and also, do I the care? Lieutenant. We should check it out. I will. I will say, for what it's worth, Lieutenant's um, comment on this is that technically SOSs are all supposed to be investigated because, yeah. partially because. If you launch an SOS, it usually means you're not trying to operate in a military fashion or in a like stealth fashion. It's usually actually civilians. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I asked this question before, and it would, and Blast will be like, we're going, uh, my two cents as the owner of the ship, as we go check it out, as Doomco regulations and galactic law states that using a distress signal like this would be in formal breach of so many military regulations that we could fuck them over if they're trying to do something. Absolutely well, true. Also, our mission was supposed to be to carve out a piece of space that is for the safety of everyone. No that matter is the if... overall mission that is of the Yes, of the faction. War. Yes. So, yes, that's like that is entirely our stick, since we don't have a time frame seeking an SOS. I mean, it, we hit three different reasons why we should, but shields up. <laughs> if we had shields. <laughs> Silco, as to yeah. answer your question, nothing on the Dark Seed Network on this. Okay. Um, are we in proximity range for dark seeds to pick up? Like, uh, or is it just like more of a global, global thing? It, 
It all depends on if they're actually in your network. Okay. Because there isn't really a range for the dark seed network, mm -hmm, but it requires, thought. but it does require a ritual to be connected to it. So if it's somebody just with a dark seed, it doesn't matter if they're not on your network. Right. Okay. General consensus is it'd be kind of a dick move not to investigate for, you know, the rest of the staff. Mm -hmm. So just looks at the navigator and the pilot. Well, let's go in. Actually, your FTL navigator is the only one that goes, why would we investigate this? It's not our concern. <laughs> If, and just immediately, your pilot looks over at them as like, "Okay, we're I'm I've already set the I've already set the directions. We're heading that way." And the navigator just shrugs mildly. It's just, yeah, it's just the. Also, it's been boring, and this is entertainment. A poor sense of entertainment. Eh, sometimes I can be that way. Hmm. Judgmental noises. <laughs> Doesn't care. No further comments, though. Yep. Because the uh, the FTL navigator goes where appointed. I'm just going to prepare for a boarding action. All right. Do 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 do. So, you guys go to check it out. You follow the uh, the communicators, the uh, the emergency signals. You know, signal looking to see where it's going, where we're where we're ended up with this. It doesn't take too long, relatively speaking, to start. You know, getting the right direction here. After traveling for, mm, it ends up, in in system travel, tends to take longer than anything else. You uh, Going from FDL point to FDL point, especially with your micro jumps you can do, saves you a lot of time. Mm -hmm. But this one, you're not going to be able to just micro jump to because you just, you don't really know where it is immediately. Got to get eyes on first. Yep. Tracking it down, you do find it out on the edge of the system. And you find yourselves looking at... It almost looks like a small convoy. There is only one SOS signal going from a large freighter in the center of it. But there is about hmm, nine ships there, all told. Two of them do look like they are vessels for anti-piracy actions. Uh, one of them is in pieces. The other is mostly intact, but it looks like it's been gutted. The ship that has the signal is the largest of the freighters. It was the one that was probably the core flight unit. Or flight unit. Like the core of the caravan. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, USS boot up your ass. We're coming in. <laughs> <laughs> when you attempt to hail it, as is normal procedures, you get no answer. Just like any active life signs. Um... Let me make some rolls of your sensor network. Do, 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 do. Uh, yes. It is picking up about a dozen life signs. Looks like, based off of their scans, they might have all ducked into like a smaller space to conserve oxygen, maybe. Because it looks like a lot of their systems are 
either low power or no power. I'm assuming life support is included in that. Yeah, probably. It's hard to tell from the outside. But it feels like a safe assumption. Well, I'm already suiting up. <laughs> I'm just like, well, the engineer's going to have to go in, so whatever. You guys are actually fairly low staff for Doomco personnel. Someone had the foresight to get in some, let's call them temps. Big, scaly, heavily armed <laughs> temps. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And how big of a group do you want to bring with you is my only question. Um, I had one group that was trained in combat, you know, combat search and rescue. The other two are ship security. Mm -hmm. So we'll bring the combat search and rescue crew because they'll have the supplies necessary if shit goes tits up, but also armed enough to fight and have the other two prepped on ship in case shit goes tits up. Okay. And of course you're gonna I, I presume you're gonna be having like more general combat staff on standby and da da da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to know how many you're just gonna bring the emergency team for the combat rescue team? Or uh get the lieutenants okay to bring a squad of uh, the general boys from Doomco? Well, that's the thing. You guys are basically out of them already. Um, oh, right. The only ones of the general staff that survived were the ones with you, funny enough. <laughs> the lieutenant lost basically her entire squad. Right, right. Then, I guess... It's just going to be us and the co and the rescue team. All right, nice little team for it. All right, all right, I big old thick medics, <laughs> big old thick lizard boys. Yep. All right. Uh, you get your team together. So it's going to be one... Basically, it's going to be one big squad, and then you're going to leave your combat squads on standby. Is that about right? Mm-hmm. And then, of course, your team. Which yep. is intact! You do have a couple of general Doomco personnel that are from your team. It's just the first team that's missing people. Yep, yep. So... Lieutenant's are... going to remain on the ship just in case something happens to you guys and there's communications lost and somebody needs to make decisions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you guys are sent onto the shuttle. Sent out. It is recommended to take the shuttle out for this for um, not wanting to dock with an unknown ship reasons. Yep, yep. And you guys move out. Getting closer and closer. This ship is... Oh, that's a big-ass ship. Oh, that's a big ship. As it slowly sinks in, this is a... This is a proper motherfucking freighter. This thing is... It is made for mass transport, and it, it's not apologizing for nothing. <laughs> So our little ship, when we pull up next to it, looks rather small. Oh, yeah. Like, once you get closer to it, uh, you realize this, genuinely, you could fit your heavy frigate into one of the holds of this thing. It's got to be an ore freighter. Yep. It is a massive ore freighter. And it does have a logo on the side. Star Strider Industries. Joy. Okay. Um, I'm going to prep a uh, recovery beacon, mm -hmm. or several, so we can put them on these ships so they can be located later, because uh, salvage fees, we did, we were told about that. If we bring these ships in, or mark them to be found again, we get a commission. Oh, Especially yeah. for something this size, 
doesn't matter if there's anything in it or not. That we, that we know ship the ship is expensive. That is a hundred, two hundred million dollar ship right there, and that's just as is, even damaged. Mm hmm. It's definitely going to be worth something as salvage, even if it is, because you're right. Even if it's hit by pirates. You having marked it gets you effectively a fee for having retrieved lost property from pirates, more or less. A very hefty fee. A very comfortable fee. They're going to want that and ship back. Oh, like, they're badly. Gonna, they're going to want this fucking ship back. It's too big. It probably took years to build this. Oh yeah, no. Or Raiders this size? Um... With the universe as is, it's not multi-year for it, but it's like a year to build this thing. A lot of it's big, empty transport space, which saves on a lot of expenses. Right. But getting a the systems to run it, that's the expensive part. Also, just laying the keel and putting plates on it. Exactly. It's not armored. It is a civilian transport. A civilian mineral transport. Well, at least it's not like the 40k universe where building a uh, frigate period is a uh, multi-decade process. Fucking right. <laughs> no. No, they don't. <laughs> they didn't get that stupid with their building designs, alright? But you're absolutely right. This thing is of quite some value for a list of reasons that could all be summarized as shit's expensive. So get in as close to the life signs as possible. They are in one of the interior um, holds. So... You will have to get yourself docked up. Hop on, take a walk. Um, I'll... I, we know how many life signs are there, so one big thing to make sure of is that we've got a crate of EVA suits, if necessary. Mm -hmm. This place is not Atmo anymore. It is... You're getting all sorts of warnings walking through here of safety concerns from your system. There's actually radiation leaks. Okay. Um, while we're going to dock up, could you ask your, uh, your, the guy, the guy on the con, or the, uh, in charge of the sensor network, to scan the, uh, the vessels to see if he can cross-reference what type of armaments were used. Yeah, I'll pass the ping along. The one it's that's good to know who did it. <laughs> the one that's actually going to look into it for you is the weapons guy you hired. Because if mm -hmm. you remember, when you yep. met him, he made sure to let you know... He knows all in... about shipboard weaponry. <laughs> Not that. Uh, he knows about pirates. Because he was one. So is my uh, driver. Exactly! You have several ex-pirates on the crew. Yep. I'm technically yep. a pirate priestess. <laughs> point is, they're real familiar with pirate equipment. They'll let you know what they figure out. Because they're, they're, they're continuing to do scans. Because they want to know what it is that you guys have walked into as well. Imagine that, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. <sighs> so. You guys are finding yourselves on the way to the inside of this place. Cracking it open. This place is... Eh, it's an industrial ship. They're not clean things. They're never clean things. But even then, you would have expected them to be a little bit more together somehow it almost feels like this place is old hmm. 
But not much for it, right? Yeah. It's an ore ship. There, uh, you you hit it with a plan because you know what you're gonna get, and if you're not after the ore, you shouldn't have hit it in the first place. Because that's that's a lot of weight you're gonna be moving around. That's a lot of, st uh, yeah. Well, for now, you guys have made your way into the initial entrance. Go ahead and roll me some initial awareness tests, please. Okay. I'll run the helmet cam while I'm in there. Uh, can heightened senses hearing help with this awareness? Yes, indeed. I will allow that. I pass my awareness. Ah, I see. The question was because otherwise we failed the test. Right. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> well, let's see. Pass, 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 pass. So, as you guys are kind of making your way into this ship and traveling along, the feeling that it's old is getting more and more prevalent in your heads. Blast. Mm -hmm. You have some connections to things. You've, you've, you've invested a bit in a rather particular skill, shall we call it. <laughs> are we talking about my rack tech? <laughs> nope. We are talking about the demon skill. Oh, gods. Okay. So, you're getting a nice little piece of information here. He, this place, by your senses, is long dead. Very long dead. You can almost feel ghosts still lingering in the air. Yep. 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 Um... Mr. Silco, before I before you comment, last let me go through the rest of them first, right? Yep, yep. Silco, Johnny, are you there? Are you muted, Johnny? Johnny, Johnny boy. Did he die within the last five seconds of me talking to him? Might have been pulled away by Allie, I don't know. I'll go to you for the moment, then we'll come back to him in a second. Um, Matt, so yes. for Siva, mm -hmm. you've been getting into a lot of empathy stuff. You can feel the echoing remains of terror in this place. People have died screaming here. But not just recently. Recently, too. But there's layers of it. A lot of layers. Oh, joy. Hmm. Hmm. You're not wholly sure what the cause of that is, but you, you do know this is not the first time this ship has gone silent. <laughs> Jeez. It's okay. Ma, Johnny. Existing? There you are. You vanished on me. I did, sorry. I had to go check on Allie. Heard some noises. <laughs> Well, with your test, do to do, do, as you're, I've been going over things with the others so far, as you are moving along and you're listening, hearing the creak of the machinery here, the 
thing that starts to occur to you is that it's too quiet. And it's hard to put your finger on it at first, and then you finally, as a technomancer, have it click in your head. Uh You're not hearing the normal sounds of the machines you expect. Oh, there's one or two that's distantly there. But this isn't the sounds you'd expect of a living ship. Or one that was recently living, for that matter. Well, we know the, re- the the call came about three days ago. At least that's what our sensors tell. The emergency signal, based upon your scanners and what info you have, are, is three days old. Yes. Maybe it was activated three days ago. Hmm. Interesting. If there's other people on the ship that activated it, it would just be... Something funky. All right. I have now provided you guys info. Hmm. Words. Use them. Talk among yourselves for a second, because you will be moving through with your combat team, your... uh, The combat safe uh, retrieval people. Wow. That word escaped me hardcore. (laughs) Fuck. But yeah, no, Blast is just going to stop, look around for a minute, raise his gun. All right, people, th- this place ain't safe. Be, be ready. The this ship has been dead a lot longer. It's not the what? first time it's fell in combat either. One of your cousins is going to kind of look over at you and be like, how do you know? I've dealt with shit similar that's not natural. Let's just say this has been touched by something that shouldn't be here. Yeah, it's, uh... I agree. Uh, not only that... S- still a retrieval mission? Or a, a rescue mission, then? Or... Well... Yeah, Cor- Corporal, your choice. I think you just had uh, responsibility shunted over to you, Blast. At this point, we can check in. Once we get close, I'll be able to touch their minds and see if it's something we should attempt to rescue on or not. But What if it's something we need to eliminate so that... That's also... That's also a possibility, but we won't find out until we're closer. But I've dealt with a scenario like this before. Instances like this are capable of shifting around location. Mm. No, oh, isn't that a pleasant thought for all, right. all of you? So, um, he's just going to page the ship and make sure it's fully fucking alert because something is not right here. Yeah, as you kind of tap in, um, the weapons expert was actually coming back to you as well, as so they're just going to go, oh, uh, good timing. We got. Okay, we got something a little weird here, boss. All right, what's up? Uh, based off of what I'm looking at, those two escort vessels, the ones that uh, one that's completely shattered, the other one that's gutted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Based Don't... off the scans I'm seeing, I think they did that to each other. Uh, I was about to say, don't tell me they blew each other up. Yeah, hard to tell without getting into systems who fired first. All but right, one sec. Hey, lieutenant there? And lieutenant kind of... You almost hear the lieutenant leaning over the weapons expert. Yes, I'm here. You remember the shit I told you that I encountered while I was doing the salvage on that ship? Did you tell the lieutenant about that? 
she probed me about where the fuck I found it, and I told her I didn't want to talk to it because I found some really weird shit. And she said, weird shit? I said, shit that shouldn't be here. And I ran. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. I just wanted to update. I couldn't remember if you had yeah, told her yeah. how much you had told her on that. And she's like, hey, what about it? I'm getting the same vibe here. Hmm. So, are you requesting to withdraw? No, we're pushing in because there may be something that needs to be dead, but it's more of a make sure the eyes and ears are open because something's off. Your pilot is actually going to come on and go, I've heard stories. And you immediately hear a couple groans. It's just she's just like, shut up. Let me talk. And, and just it's just gonna be like, no, no. Yes, bad stories. Like the one we don't talk about when we went on a salvage run, because this feels similar. Different story, same feel. Alright, so here, hear me out now. Hear me out now. <laughs> before before I get more eh, hear me out. So there's this story that goes around Tortuga about certain ships you just don't hit. Right? So, the way I hear it on the grapevine, there are certain ships out there that people occasionally find themselves coming across that are shall we say haunted they're haunted they're haunted ships so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can feel it yeah no well here's the thing from what i've heard these ships are they get these demon spirit things that climb aboard and sink into the nest of them that kill all those that try to raid them for their great bounties and blah, blah, blah. Long story short, what I've heard is that there's these predator ghosts that are out there that are hunting using ghost ships like this as bait. Luring in pirates, salvagers, but patrols too i've heard them taking out entire patrol groups federal alliance and other that was rambling wasn't it it was very rambling it's just <laughs> you hear her muttering to herself and then you kind of hear another the creak of armor of somebody leaning over and then you hear an unfamiliar woman's voice come over the commas. It's just ships haunted yep. by predator ghosts that want to kill you. Might I recommend we bombard it from a distance with the primary cannon? Yes. I'll look at the rest. Whose, whose voice was that? Does anyone have you? I've met a lot of the crew so far. Yeah, I... I, I, I it, it, <laughs> so, yeah, Blast, yeah. you know of exactly one person you have never heard talk from your crew. And that would be... Uh, oh, right, pilot's right. Buddy. <laughs> yeah, the pilot's buddy is like... No, 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 that's... Now, do you my... remember her name? Uh, I wish, but you never told it to me. Because... Oh, I told you all of their names. No, no. The pilot specifically said she'll tell you your name if she feels like you no need it. And she never fucking spoke. You are incorrect. Because she never speaks, but you were told their names because their names were a joke. They have I, matching names. I honestly don't remember. 
Uh, it's been weeks, man. Nixon it Bex. has. Huh? No, it's not Nixon Bix, right? <clears throat> no, no, not Nixon no. Bix. That's the two engineers. Okay, uh, it, it's Our... not actually that important. I'm just making fun of you. <sighs> oh, <goodness. laughs> it's not well, actually it's... important. But it'll, it, it'll just look over and be like, no, no, I, I know her. Hmm. She just doesn't speak very often. First time you ever heard her talk. Yep. Yep. It's just like, we're going to be stupid unless any... Or well, he'll look at the party. Are we going to be stupid and check in on the life signs first, or are we going to bail? So, question. Do you have a way to kill these spirits? How do you kill a ghost that dead? Yeah. It... Pretty much oh. the answer. We could, uh, don't you have that lady that we talked to? They kind of move in mysterious ways. Can you get a communication back to that Reaper? I mean, I do have her contact number. I could try. You did get her phone number. Yep. Right. I'll, I'll load it up on the Rack Tech communicator and try to page her. Because that would be an incredible way. Yeah, we'll this is the ghosts. no. Th this is one of those situations. She said, "If you ever come into something like this, page me." Yeah. So I'm paging her. <laughs> kind of a pause before you get an answer of hello, my friend. Hello. Hello. Can you hello? hear me now? How, how does this? How does this thing work? Hey. Ah, I have it upside down. Hello. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Yes, hello. It's Blast. Oh, oh the lizard. Yes, yes, hello. Yes, You told me to contact you if I ever found something funky. Well, I'm currently on a haunted ghost ship with predatory ghosts that want to kill us. But we've got life signs, so... Predat... Ghost... What? Haunted ship. Yes, I got the implications, but what do you Look, mean you found a ghost? There's no ghost ships. Well, there are. I'm sitting on one. This thing has been wrecked based on everything we can tell for who knows how long. And yet, apparently the emergency transponder, the SOS transponder has been only going for a couple of weeks or a couple of days that doesn't and make it a ghost ship it's a ghost ship i could tell by the the emotions of this place the amount of if there's a ship with ghosts my people have already located it and handled it mm, you missed then, one then that that well you told me to pay you if i found anything like this I am paging you because I found something like what you told me. With the Let feelings me... you described and everything. Let me put the word out a moment. She goes quiet. After a while, she kind of comes back and she's like, um, there's a reaper over that way. There's a reaper at that ship. So there's no ghosts. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're the ones that did the SOS. Ah, we could be here to pick up the Reaper and any survivors he Does this helped. Reaper have a name as he, he may be, they may be one of the life signs we detected. Oh, you wouldn't be picking them up as a life sign. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think he'd be putting an SOS out either. It seems redundant. Of course not. They they don't they're stationed there. That's their port of call, as it were. Mm-hmm. So is your recommend so recommendation here? Should we continue to check out these life signs or just bail and follow one of my staff's advice and blow the ship to shreds? Well, that's really a decision for you to make as living beings, mortals, making their own choices. I can't make it for you. Uh, that's why I asked for advice. But 
So there's no I'm... predatory ghosts? According to my friends, nope. She's you kind of kind of hear her stump kind of with the thing still. She's just how does this turn on and off? Where's the off button? Is this the off button? That didn't work. No, I don't think that's it's still glowing. Mm. Uh, well, have fun figuring it out. I'll hang up on my end so it'll turn off on yours. Ah, yes, but there's no such thing as predator ghosts. That's silly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they have a name for them. Mm, what do you call them? <laughs> well, that's, of course, you know, there's necromancer that did something to himself, in which case we usually leave them to their own uh, chosen fate. Well, then, I guess I will... But that's not you... a ghost. <sighs> if I find se. something else funky here, should I call you back? There's a reaper there. If there was anything that would require my attention, they would have already handled it. That's how we work. Fair enough. Well, can I ask this reaper's name in case we encounter them? Oh, he won't. Mm, joy. We don't usually make ourselves visible to living beings. It's not really in our job titles. Well, I'm glad I at least got to see one beautiful reaper. <laughs> so long, I will talk to you later. Uh, just as a, a word of advice, mm -hmm. the reapers only get stationed to places with a constant stream of death from them. Best of luck! Yeah, thank you. <sighs> no, seriously, how do I hang this up? I need just to hang up for her. <laughs> So the question remains: Are we Do we have a way to deal with these um, not predatory ghosts? Because I don't really want to have to deal with that. Okay, it comes down to a mathematical question. Does it? It does. Do we blow the ship to smithereens and just sink the cost of ammunition or whatever it costs to fire the main weapon? I don't know. Do we use? Is it a shell? Is it a laser? I don't know. Just a shell. Yeah. It's, it's not cheap. He's got a rail gun. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's cheaper than actual, like... Yeah. Shells, because you're just firing uh, just chunks of metal. But... It's not horribly want, expensive to rearm. Do we want to risk our lives? For the commission, we could pop, probably and maybe could possibly get from a vessel this big and all the adjoining ships. Or do we just want to sink the cost of using the main railgun and blowing this to smithereens and not have it be our problem anymore? Or we could just leave. The sergeant's just like, there are still life signs, though. Right, but they we don't know if they're safe. Well, let's... I mean, we've made our investments in wealth on being crazy. Why stop now? Let's go check on the life signs and see what happens. Uh, okay. Do make you do, do test them before we like let them in on the ship? I don't know. Oh yes, yes. It could be some sort of parasitic alien thing that looks like normal people. Javier, Javier is just like you know. It does sound more like an alien thing to me. Well, I mean, the ship is so damn old, and people... And I'm reading the emotions of the ship. People have died on this ship over years and years and years, screaming. Maybe like, we should try finding the name of the ship. Spotlights on the outside? And then the outside, the uh, ship crew, the bridge crew is just like, well, take a look. Okay. The SOS. A... We've gotten a better look at the SOS. Um, yeah, no. It, I'm not sure if this matches the ship. I mean, it's a freighter, too, but it's not an ore freighter, I don't think. At least not the SOS signal. 
All right, then. I guess... So, from the data we've gotten collectively, for everyone on the comm channel, this ship's been dead a long time. As in, this thing is in such disrespair, disrepair, it's, it's really freaking old, and most of the systems that would have been running, despite critical damage, they're all off, because of it's just been a long time. We've got a... Those are some odd light signs. Ships shooting each other. Uh, I can definitely tell you this ship, everyone on it, whether it's rescue teams, uh, the crew itself, everyone's died in a horrible screaming death. Um, Encouraging. Yep. Multiple times. Multiple times. Different different waves of emotion. Some older, some new. Um, the ship's ancient. <laughs> Like, really, really old. And uh, a lot of people have come to look at it. And a lot of people have died for it. And here over the comms. Ghosts. Uh, nope. Nope, we just called a reaper. There's no ghosts. Ghosts. Nope. We and literally we just... called the person who's in charge of dealing with ghosts. And they said that there's no ghosts. Besides because, there being a Reaper on board. Yeah, so th there's literally a Reaper on board. They've killed the ghosts. How it's, do we know they killed the ghosts, though? Because they just said! Uh, how can we trust this Reaper to have told us the truth? How, do we, how well do we know them? Could they be trying to feed us to their Reaper buddies? Maybe this is a Reaper trap. Uh, no, I think that's a little too far. Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't, what do I we don't know, know about what do we know about reapers? We know that they want to kill people because that's what reapers do. And then you gather them. Yeah, you might being taken away from somebody. He's just ignore them. Don't worry about it. Just investigate the life signs. Confirm whether or not they're hostile and get off. Do we lose connection? Did we just lose connection? Uh, did you? No, no, no. I mean, like, in character. Because, like, oh, everything no. stopped after that. No, that was it. It was just, and then get off. Like, get off the ship. Okay. I thought you just, like, never mind. We're good. We're good. I understand. I understand what you uh, thought I, I did. Yeah, yeah. No. I, I'm telling you, no, I did not. Okay. Good, good. Hmm. Okay. So, I just need to know what approach you all want to take to this. Are you trying to be stealthy? Are we marching along? How we want to approach this? Because I don't got a map for this, because I was thinking about how I was going to do a map for this, and I decided, eh. I'm thinking stealthy. Does anyone have a uh, detection of spirits of some kind, like science science? You've got a psychic, mm -hmm. you've got a technomancer, and you've got a smith. And an empath. So we should be okay? Is that what I'm hearing? You don't have any ghost whisperers. No ghostbusters? <laughs> Feels bad. I mean, who are you going to call? Nobody at this point. <laughs> Ourselves, because we're the ghostbusters. <laughs> so, stealth or blunt? Because I will tell you now, your combat retrieval team there, your combat rescue team, mm -hmm. not so stealthy. Mm. Yep. All right, so I guess we're going to go blunt because we don't well, really have the team to go stealth. I was going to say, you can leave them behind. You can also send in a scout. You could send in a whole one person to risk their asses for you. I'll do it. I think I'm the stealthiest member of our team. If you want to scout ahead, I'm not going to argue. Okay. I'm only asking your methodologies. I and I'm trying to tell you what you'll need for like to do for stealth is really all you'd have to do is leave behind the combat rescue team because they are not a stealthy bunch of giant scaly lizards. 
But that doesn't stop you from stealthing, just means you would need to ditch part of your team, that's all. So it, it's up to you guys at that point. I honestly don't know. At this point, my opinion would be to send the search and rescue team back to the shuttle and call them if they're needed. And then sneak forward. Aren't you a giant scaly lizard as well? Yeah, but I can be sneaky. Can you? I think he, I think he actually has the stealth skill. Yep. I don't have the stealth skill. I'm a cat. How does the cat <laughs> not have the stealth skill? <laughs> I'll tell you guys. <coughs> I'm going to pass unseen. Hey, someone has a stealth skill. So, we rolling stealth here? Go I'm gonna for pick it. Up stealth for five points. Well, you're actually going to grab stealth? <laughs> yes. Heresy. Obviously, you need to just blunder head first in. I just need to unlock my genetics. That's all I needed to do. Easy peasy. You, you just need to channel the ancestors that you stole. I mean, definitely <laughs> had from the start. Nice. I mean, you're definitely a cat, not a man in a cat body. Definitely not. Has it occurred to you that you've basically made the ultimate form of a furry? Uh, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Jokes aside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I see you actually purchased stealth. Yes. Good. We have a stealth, we have a stealth, and we have a stealth. All right. So... You guys leave behind the combat rescue team for now. You can always call them up when you need them. And you guys head further in. Hall after hall. After a while of moving through, your team starts giving you more reports on scans. This ship has been repaired. Repeatedly, but inexpertly. Enough that it just looks like damage from pirate attacks or something at first. But it's only when you start poking deeper into it that you start noticing the small problems. Somebody has gone through a lot of trouble to make, to try at least, to make this ship look normal ish. Normal for an attack ship. And as you guys are moving through, you start seeing more and more evidence of roughly the same. You start recognizing uh, parts from different ships, some of them smaller ships, some of them military ships. It's hard to say wholly for certain. But this place, at least internally, is a Franken ship. Eventually, you find your way to the bay that you're looking for. And it is quite solidly sealed up. And there is, at least based off of what your Technomancer is able to tell, indeed, working life support inside of that. This particular hold. Nice. To what end? You'll have to find out. That said, it's not really designed for an airlock setup. Cracking it is maybe ill-advised. That's what I was concerned about. Is there a comm system? Um... Yeah, there's a little comms panel next to the door. You're not sure if it's going to work, given the condition of the everything you've been seeing thus far. But you can certainly find out. I'll look at Blast. I really don't advise opening it. There's no airlock. There's no pressurization on this side. And uh, if we open it, it just vents the space. 
Um, can I feel anything on the other side of the door? This is the room that they're supposed to be in, right? Indeed it is. And you do feel some minds on the other side of the door. Uh, I will need a roll for more particular than that, though. Roll me your psychic powers, my friend. Okay. Oh my god. Powers. Psychic powers. Psychic poopers. Okay. Definitely life signs. Um, the minds you're feeling over there feel odd. They're definitely not human. Um, it almost feels intelligent. Maybe an intelligent animal of some sort. Oops. It's very hard to tell. Glass is just going to be like, well, what I'm feeling is almost human. Some kind of intellect, probably bestial. Are there cameras on the other side? Um, not that you can pick up, no. Okay. I mean, I... At this point, I'm willing to get out, but I'm not... I kind of want to know what's in there. Your radio crackles to life from the uh, retrieval team, the uh, the rescue team, as they come on and go, we just got engaged by something? Um, we didn't get a good look at it, but it killed a couple of us. And then went into the vents. Hey. Great. <laughs> All right. So looks at the rest. Shall we bail? I mean, might as well just open the door. Yeah, we we've got masks and shit in case anything's actually person in there. All right, I'm ready. My gun. Gonna crack a door. Crack to crack. All right, the crack opened the door, and here's another door on the other side. Somebody's made a makeshift airlock. Not on your side, on their side. It doesn't take too much to cycle it. This place isn't really set up with security. And on the inside, you find some very large animals. They look like almost a cross between... Uh, almost a cross between a large cat and a hyena. They look at you very bored when you open the door. Try to get a feel for this, I guess. Go ahead and roll me another sign. Uh, psychic test. Uh, I'm going to give that my reroll. Ah, yeah. Fuck. All right. Um, no, it's, they seem to be large cats. How you know cat things? Mm-hmm. Um, they're definitely eating people. Oh. There are some bits of people left in where is very clearly the feeding grounds. Just where, where food is delivered. In a trough. Lovely. And they just kind of look at you like, what? There would be no... Can, I I don't know. Can I get a scan from the visual of my armor to figure out what these things are? Um, 
You don't really have anything to reference it to. Uh, Mr. Infused Knowledge, though. You can give me a intelligence roll. I would so love to intelligence roll. Um, because this would be a zoology-type roll, and if nobody has zoology... Oh. No zoology from this guy. You guys are staring at a bunch of cat thing. Kaina thing? Mm -mm. The collective look they are giving you is, what the fuck do you want? Makes sense. Are you able to uh, speak with them? Do you guys understand us? One of them yawns at you. <laughs> they have very large teeth. Not immediately hostile. Seems like a good sign. <laughs> they look very well fed currently. They're, um, don't seem like ghosts, though. So that's nice. That's a positive. Heavy air is just. So this is fucking weird, right? Yeah, I know for sure. Like, like this shit's just fucking weird. I say we leave. I, I get. I'm getting strong trap vibes here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting strong yep. vibes that we've walked into a trap of some sort. I mean, we could always just go back and shut the door. Let's just... Let's just... Go away. He's already backing towards the door, yep. eyeing yep. them. None I them agree. Move. They watch you. But none of them move. As you guys start making your way out again, uh, the combat team comes back on. It's just so we're down to half power now. Um, yeah, we're on our way back. Hold up in a side room because yeah, um, <clears throat> it's fast. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's fast. I mean, it is it a dog? Cats. No. Uh, no visual. I don't know. Then. Interesting. Visual? Uh, yeah, we got some kind of visual on it. Depends on how you want to... We've gotten glimpses. It, it almost looks like a liquid. Almost acts like a liquid. It comes out of the vents, almost oozing out of them. And it kills a couple of us and then bolts. Has it killed a couple of you? Yep. Yes. <laughs> that that's why we're getting the Oh, fuck that's out. what they mean by half powers and it killed it. Mm -hmm. They've half the team's down. Yep, nope. Time for us to get the fuck out, boys. Come on. Well, bye, critters. Roll me awarenesses. Oh, oh, right. Roll me awarenesses if you all would. Blast! You come to a rather jarring realization. Mm -hmm. someone's been monitoring your surface thoughts. Not deep. Just what goes across the very top. Mm -hmm. Once you notice it, it's very easy to shut out. The part that's concerning is you didn't notice it in the first place. Yep. 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 Um, as that is found out, 
and you guys are making your way to catch up to the uh, other team. Nix comes on the comms with, I just had something try to breach the shuttle. Um, I've detached. Okay. Pretty sure I didn't get breached, but... Um... Airlock people. Yep, yep. Wait, we're jumping ship. Gonna need to pick us up. This is just... I will get back to you on that once I figured out if I didn't pick up any hitchhikers. Sounds good. So, uh, God damn it! Like I said, now that you're aware that there was something to defend yourself against, it is very easy to defend against it. It's mm-hmm. not pushing at you. It's probably why it got away as long as it did with monitoring your thoughts. It was. Can't. Stop it. Can't. I'm just going to keep that mental feeler out to see if it gets close. You know? Well, that is not that. That is not what I thought that was. But, uh... Yes. You know, now that he's aware of it... You're keeping an eye out for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's once you're aware, it's relatively easy. Yep. And once it's locked out, he's going to be like, all right, yep, nope, we are bailing immediately whatever's on remind me to teach you guys how to lock your thoughts away so you guys find yourselves making your way trying to make your way off the ship at this point it's time to leave. Um, the combat retrieval team had the combat rescue team. They have gone to ground for the moment. Mm-hmm. They they don't like this. Yep. Yep. They that rings there. So. They're on the shuttle, though, right? No, they didn't make it to the shuttle. Before <sighs> they started getting hit. All right. All right. Call That's why back. I'm yeah, asking call. what you want to do at that point. Because right now, they're holed up in a side room. As they're like, we found somewhere that resembles defensible. All right. We're heading to you. We'll gather up and get the fuck off this right this wreck. All right. So, as you guys are making your way there, meeting up with them, to meet up with them, you do have two other mooks, I believe, that survived that last mission. Yes. Cool. So. Sorry, I'm trying to find my... There they are. Because now I'm about to start keeping track of some shit. Real proper, like... These guys are not important. Okay. You guys start making your way through the ship. Uh, First and foremost, I'm actually going to need a... It's going to be a navigate test of some sort, because it's to find your way back to where you're trying to go. This place is a bit of a rat's nest. I will have you just go ahead and roll me a base intelligence test, everybody. Just try and real track your way back to where you need to go. Mm, I can't follow the path that my armor marks, because that was one of the features I bought for it. Yeah, I suppose. I didn't know you had that feature in your thing. I thought you had yeah, that in your it, new it, armor. No, I I 
bought basic armor, I was going to transfer the features from my armor to it because I got the tracking software and everything. Because I expected us to be hunting people down, remember? I suppose. All right. That's fine. Then yes. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to check some things. Okay. So. All three of you get a prickling feeling as you hear something. And that hearing of some motion, some movement is... The thing that alerts you before you guys get attacked as well. Something coming out of the vents. Predictables. To... Tyranid scum. Tyranid scum, indeed. It means it's not getting surprise rounds. But, um. Do, 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 do. I'm going to need initiatives real quick. Because it's not getting uh, it's not getting a surprise attack here. I had surprise attacks with that one. Yeah, that's not going to help. I don't have a token to peg, so I'm just going to have to straight roll it. Yeah, that's what, what I did. You guys have. We have, do have a. We do have an actually thing. Oh, right. there it is. Yeah, if I say you guys are right here on the map. I was zoomed in too far. I have added you to the thing, Mister. Thank you. I was just going to uh, roll and then put my thing in, but I get the same number anyway. So. Uh... Yeah. And then. I thought I had this already. Apparently not. This right here is going to represent our mystery enemy until we have actual identification for them. My guess, it's the Reaper. And uh, only if we could communicate with them. Be like, hey, stop it. Get some help. Get some help. Stop it. Get some help. All right. And then for our mystery number, let me pull up his sheet. If I can find it, there you are. So what happens when I minimize shit and then I just don't really... Hmm. Nice. Okay. So, it's almost like a silver liquid pours out of the vents, and it is going to go for one of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there is seven of you. Pick a number between one and seven. Wait, you want us to just roll it? Uh, I said pick a number. I don't okay. care what number you pick. I'll just uh, take one because I'll fuck pick it. One. Okay. Three. Three. Matt, pick a number between one and seven that's not one or three. Now it's more probable for you to uh to pick it, Matt. Matt. Are you muted, Matt? Or are you just not here? I think he's just not here. I think he's just not here as well. No. I'm fine. Pick, I'm invincible. Pick a number. One through seven. That's not one or three. 
Seven. Nice. Cool. <laughs> All right. So that is going to be one of the mooks then. Ay ay ay. So you're gonna watch as this liquid comes pouring out of one of the vents and just drops on top of one of the other security personnel. And it is a quick affair of it taking him in half. For it's already moving right back for the vents. However, it's not going to finish that until its next turn. So, Siva. Mm -hmm. You get to go first. This thing's just dropped out. Cut a man in half. It is ditching immediately. Mm. Killed one of our dudes, huh? Stop right there, criminal scum. Uh, he's not quite dead yet. But, um, I mean, his guts are on the ground, and he's he hasn't gotten to react to screaming yet. But you know that's going to be coming soon. You don't, um... You don't get eviscerated without screaming being involved. Hmm... Does it look like a mundane weapon? Roll me a perception test to try and identify what it did that with, because it was fast. Blades of some sort that it had come out from its own form. Hmm. Well, I'm going to scoop him up, or scoop up the entrails, put them in his, put them in him, <laughs> and then just run some duct tape over it, and I'm going to carry him out. <laughs> so he's like, we're leaving. So you don't want to do anything about it crawling back into the vent currently? No, it's not even worth it. All right, blast. Um... I'm unsure if normal weapons will do shit to this thing based on what I've heard from my fellows. So I'm going to try and do my fucky Cybolt thingy. You're going to try to attack it psychically. All right. Yep. Do, do, do. I believe that is a test from your part to hit with it. Yep. Yes. It's just an. Uh, I just have to roll infamy versus willpower. That's what it is. Uh, go ahead and roll your. Here's hoping. Nice. She needed some TLC because. TLC. My roommate got something in the mail today and is very excited about it. Very nice. For Matt's reference, she got a little fig of ambrosia. <laughs> it actually fails its willpower test, That's which a is high impressive. Willpower. Given, yeah. given its willpower, that is impressive. What's your damage on that? Um, let me see here. Double checking. Flat nine damage. Just direct damage. I don't believe it gets resisted by anything if they fail nope. the willpower test. Nope. Cool. It is straight brain fuck. Yeah, you feel that connect. Solidly. And you can feel that it's a very powerful mind, but a little sluggish right now. I don't think it's had to engage in mind-to-mind -mind combat in maybe a while. 
So I at least put it on the back foot initially. Yes. Let's see. We have one man that is sand some legs right now. He's not going to do shit, but other people are going to take some shots at this thing. Oh, I need to roll for Javier as well. Nice. 69. That's not a hit, but nice. Um, McClellan, the other guy, and Javier open fire with the assault rifles. You do watch the rounds kind of smacking into its liquid form. Whether or not they're doing anything, you're not sure. But I'm going to roll for those hits now, which is only saying it's like 60 for you. So, 60? Yeah, 60. So that's 5 degrees. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that was one too many. That's fine. All right. You're not sure what the effect is on that. They're definitely hitting it, though. Silco. Mm, yes, yes, yes. I'm thinking about my... I'm wondering what this thing is. Uh, it's a blob of silver goodies, right? Can't tell if it's electronic, can I? Not immediately, no. There's no test for me to... You could try reaching out with your uh, technomancy. Hmm. But, um... You know, if it's not machinery, then that's kind of a waste of a roll. It's true. Uh, but if it is machinery, it could be incredibly useful. Just thinking of my uh, my technomancy powers. I'm only I'm at currently forty four, so I can't get another one. But I was thinking of um, promotion, which increases my clearance. Could I use it to like um, put might into it to like? Uh, make a um a way to breach something first kind of like a um a charge of like a breaching charge uh but in this case through um affirmative action of my mind um affirmative action of the mind <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, I a, just, uh, that's a sentence yep yeah, um so I'm going to put might into promotion, uh, five points worth, just to see what we can get out of that. And then I'm going to try and uh, reach out. So you'd like to try to reach out with your technomancy towards this yeah. thing. Yeah, but I want, to, I want to see what we can get for five might into promotion first. Well, I mean, what are exactly you trying to accomplish with five might? It, it, uh, I just want to make my initial vulnerability uh, uh, easier through promotion. Like, you know, how promotion increases the clearance. Well, you need initial breach or be able to yeah. get into it first. So you, you're you trying to give yourself a bonus to breaching. Pretty much. Five. All right. I suppose. Um, I, I don't know if this is going to work, but this is good for other things as well. So I might as well just try it out. Uh, sure. Yeah, no, go ahead and put your five points in. It'll give you. I say it'll give you a plus 10 to security test for breaching the initial security on an electronic system. Sure. Um, so let's uh, reach out with tech use. Uh, either security or tech use, either one. Security. Um, initial breach. Uh, 
let's just, I don't know if you can apply the plus 10 if it accounts. Uh, 31. Well, it'll confirm for you that this is not a machine. Excellent. Good to know. There is plenty of metal there, but, um... So it is using metal of some kind, but there's no electronics. It's all, uh, I control it. Okay, cool, cool. It's almost mercury. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, that was my turn. All right. And it goes into the vents. Vanishes into the ether. Not really. It just vanishes into the vents. Things not electronic, at least, seems to uh, form its own body with metal. Yeah, it's got a particularly powerful mind. But it's sluggish. Seems like it's been quite some time since anybody slapped it mentally. Ah, well, I'm glad you could do some damage. But let's keep moving, get our boys, get out. I'm going to pick up our legless friend. Yeah, um, there's going to be an actual Medicaid test necessary here to stabilize that man hey, if you want to stabilize him. I got this. Uh, suit gives me a plus 20, and the uh, Medicaid gives me a plus 10, right? Because Yes, it does. And I hate to say this, Matt, but uh, just shoving his organs back in is not going to... Um, not gonna do much, my man. It's uh it's it's good moral support though, for sure. No, it really yeah. is. Uh, besides anything? touching the organs. Um, I guess. Would you like well that can give him a bonus. Like that like you can do the assist and give him a plus ten, if you like. Sure. I'll give him an assist. Touching the organs is definitely definitely um a thing you can do. It's not a good thing most of the time. Um, just, just, just go ahead and finger those intestines. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. So, Liam, Never for does. assist, do you want Matt's roll to get the plus ten? No, uh, usually it's, nah. a, it's just a, I help, I help. You get plus ten. So I don't give you a sixty. Um. Yeah, stable is definitely, definitely something to strive for um, when you are holding a man's intestines in your hands. The cut was very clean. It was almost... Go ahead and roll me an intelligence test. <laughs> Success. Uh, it is such a fine cut that it is both hard and easier to fix because of it. Interesting. This is the kind of cut you would expect from your equipment in your lab. Yeah, which is why I really want to get to know this thing. Um, not on a personal level, per se, but like <laughs> on a way that I can control it. <laughs> Because this cut was intensely clean. Yeah. Um, hmm. It will take about uh, 20 minutes to stabilize the guy, though, because mm -hmm. of that. Because he, it, nothing got moved out of the way of the cut. It didn't have any of the, like, if you shove something into somebody's guts, you expect things to move and squish, especially as, like, there's resistance. It's like there is no resistance to cut whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So everything is just sliced through. So it is going to take, like, 20 minutes to get this guy stable. Okay. And moving him is not a good idea. You're having to do this in the hallway. 
And nothing harasses you while you're doing so. It's kind of quiet. this creature. It's quiet. Too bad. After a while, you guys get everything, get him stabilized, and start making your way out again. Advancing, as it were. You guys think there's more than one of these entities? I think that... Yeah, yeah that was directed I... towards the group of yeah, the people that are with us. I'm... Was that the mind that had been vaguely skimming me? Yes. I was like, unsure, but doubtful? Mm. Lobs like that seem like they can cut themselves off. But hopefully not. Hopefully it's just one thing. All Still right. a fascinating creature. Does uh, anyone recognize what those are? From the ship? Whatever that thing was? Probably something more forbidden than normal scholastic, I assume. Oh yeah, this is not on a normal scholastic or anything. Mm-hmm. Another. Let me check everybody's sheets real quick, but I don't think anybody has the right knowledges. Yeah, and the only thing I could ask for is the uh, the dark seed, but... I mean, you all do have a dark patron. You could always inquire with him. I go to the um, uh, head priest of the Forgotten to see, see what his opinion is. Oh, you're going to ask him? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So you uh, you kind of hop into the mental space and you're like, all right, let's go. Let's go ahead and ask somebody. Let's phone a friend. Friend? Yeah, he's a friend, right? He's a friend, right? Questions sometimes need answers. Sometimes it's a shot in the dark. It takes a second to get a hold of him when you go to get in contact. And when you do, it's just that... Uh, Silco, wasn't it? Yes. What do you want? Quick question. Uh, Silco's going to provide a mental image of um, what he saw. Does this ring a bell of any kind? Why? I just had some personal experience with um, what I can do. We're currently oh. uh, dealing with it. Oh, you're afraid for your life or something. I was more hoping for intel to better take care of the situation, but yeah, just a little bit between you and me. Hmm. It could... Um, Dice me up real good as a dimensional edge of some kind that, uh, well, oh, it's my tools totally can physical. Be yes. I can tell you that. You don't have to worry about it dimensionally damaging you. I just mean to shock. My apologies. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should help. It's up to you. I mean, it's like always a return. Good, I understand. It's always a good learning experience for younger people to deal with the terrors of the universe on their own, isn't it? I feel like the people above us are usually in a good position to offer help to the young. It is a rite of passage. For who? For myself, of course. Hmm. What are you willing to offer for my 
Hmm. Advice. We'll go with that. Advice. I like the word advice. What would you be willing to offer for my intervention? Oh, yes, intervention. That sounds much more mm, professional. Mm, can we have um, equivalent exchange on this request? What? Do you think you're going to learn things I won't know? No, I just yeah, I hope to get the most out of it. As uh, Silco will provide his fate point. Oh, you're going to offer up a fate point to him? Mm-hmm. Well, 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 well. Hmm. All right. All right. You see, now that's how you catch somebody's interest. I'm also investing in your future. Oh, my future is rather secure, but um, I've haven't gotten this far by uh, not betting on black, as it were. Right, I agree. Right, so you find yourselves on the wrong end of that particular creature, and it's hunting you currently. Yes, correct. It's a holdover from an old war. Consider them a... I don't... I want to use the word bioweapon, but they're not really biolog... Eh, that's not important right now. At least not to you. What is important is that they are a gorilla fighter that was released by its parent species to go cause eternal havoc in the ranks of the biological creatures that dared intrude upon their home territories. It's a cutter. It's a cutter. Yeah. Interesting. A subspecies known as a bloodbath, colloquially. It was such a lovely creature. Hmm. Not as powerful psionically as some of their kinds, at least not offensively. They're defensive on that front. But in a physical upright fight, I would bet more on your deaths not going to sugarcoat that, as they are fast. Yes. Very fast. They are rather capable of taking bullets out of the air when they attempt to do so. Hmm. Melee combatants, though. They are trained in terror tactics. Get into a ship. Nice cat. Good job. The cat's knocking shit over now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, they get into ships, they start picking out targets, and then slowly work their way through them. Simple as that. I could offer you plenty of little details, if you like, but honestly, they're not that important to your... To, to you at this moment. After all, it's not really going to help you survive. Correct. And there's no... Ah, there's no way to take control of this thing besides having another cutter, I assume. Cutters don't control them. They, oh, they just release them. I see. The sub-clan is... insane. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, they're very well known for wearing people's skin and wearing them and using them as little puppets. In fact, they have been known in the past to slide into somebody's body after cutting in a small hole and then using them to infiltrate ships without them even realizing they're there. Those are some good tactics. Um, is there anything with my current power set that I could do to 
enforce my will upon it so it can stop trying to kill us? Or is that something beyond my control? Are you trying to negotiate with it, maybe? I don't know what it wants. They are... You see, the thing is, they're... I'm going to be polite and call them eccentric. They're crazy. Each of them have obsessions they develop with time. If so you you're saying... The, the, so, um, I apologize. This may be me coming off. So, what, I've, what I'm getting from this is that they're a subsect of the cutters themselves. A subspecies. Right. And they... Um, this blob will get into people to, um, to, to infiltrate ships or to... Uh, where it is skin, right? Or I was thinking of, the, I was putting the two and two as creators, and then this this thing as two separate things, but they're the 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 same. Or am I missing that? I uh, that the way you phrase that question just lost me. Okay. Um, um. So we know the cutters have made it, right? Yes, the cutters um, made it, and. These things are insane, or the people that created them are insane. The creatures are crazy. The creatures are crazy. Okay, okay, that makes. At least okay. that's what he's saying. Right. Okay. So, trying to negotiate it is going to be hard, um, but they have a uh, their fetish per se, as you were saying, um, or their. Yeah. He the was thing. saying they have an. Obs- they all have an obsession. Something. Yeah. Attached to. Right. 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 Might be the and, ship. Who who knows? Um, yeah, he's just offering that up as a. I don't know if it's useful, but maybe this can save your ass. Who knows? It could be the cat hyena things. Those could be its obsession. Why it keeps collecting them? Hmm. And being well fed. Interesting. Who's feeding them? Is the question. Could be this slime creature. Uh. Okay. Okay, interesting. Um, maybe a red herring, uh, but possibility. Um, but uh, my previous question, does my current power set uh, with the Technomancy have any way to... Uh, no. Like we said negotiate, we said no. You could... Have to negotiating work. with them just by talking to them, technically possible, because... Mm-hmm. But they're crazy. So they're crazy, how they're yeah. It's... To- it's be a hard conversation. Yeah. conversation. Okay. Um good information. Uh I will then share this information with my two contacts on the dark network and be like ah. mean your team? Yes. All right, so, so he's passing it on. <laughs> Unless we try to communicate it or find its obsession and um, threaten to kill them, maybe. There's not much for an obsession to have besides maybe the ship it's on. But it's also quite interesting to see that all of the same type of creature the animal is well fed somehow locked up in a cage are you guys listening to uh, the conversation or yeah do you guys understand what's happening are we... I I, I'm just going to ask for a boil it down. Sorry, I'm dealing with a migraine from hell. And I'm what about you, Matt? Day. You you still with me? Is everybody good tonight? If you want, mm. we can hold off till next week for doing this more properly if everybody's not feeling it tonight. I'm not dealing feeling with it. <clears throat> just uh, sometimes I got a little bit of you know life to do. Well, yeah. What were you saying, Ogre, though? I'm dealing with a migraine from hell. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, 
the reason I was muted earlier was because I was in the bathroom trying to puke my guts out, so sorry. Do yeah. you want to call it for tonight, then? And then, uh, like, if we do that, the next week I'll get you guys a proper map for this. Uh, I, at the very least, I think I need to. I'm sorry, guys. That's right. That's um, cool. We'll just continue uh, it next week. Shit happens. we got we'll two continue. hours. We'll continue it next week. I'll get us a proper neck map next week, too, so that... Um, you know, it'll be a little bit easier to keep up with where things are and what's going on. All right, guys, I'm going to go and try to pass out so my eyes stop going cross. All right. Take care. All right, man. Peace. Uh, so, Matt, all I was asking, uh, I don't know if you heard, uh, but I was going to relay some information. It would have been easier if you guys were here, but it's okay. Um the thing has an obsession. I know it's some sort of symbiotic creature that can. It likes to sneak out its way on the vessels. It's yeah, old it, and ancient. It does. Yeah, it uh, it's not symbiotic. It was a well parasite. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a parasite. It's a it uses gear or shuttle vessels or people to hop onto other to the next ship. Mm-hmm. But it also has a home territory if it's a, kind of a popular ship. Um, it has an obsession. It picks up habits over time, obsessions like the the pets, keeping the pets. So yeah, uh, my that's my my theory that the pets are its obsession, why it's being fed, why it's locked in a cage, and uh, being fed's the biggest thing. It's like, hey, here's some bodies. We 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 went in and we saw some bodies, right? Yes, there was actual troughs that were set up yeah. to feed them. And they were pretty, like, house style in a sense, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they reacted to you guys how you would expect a house cat to react to somebody new coming in. Mm-hmm. Just That's a very mild, yeah. oh, you're here, I guess. It might be interesting if we, uh, if it's, it might act more cautiously the closer we are to, or more aggressively the closer we are to, um, yeah, that's my fear that it'd be more aggressive. Like if we try to, uh, hurt them in any way, uh, I'm sure it would go into full, let's, uh, uh, rip and tear until it's done, but right, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't be logical anymore. It wouldn't be hit and run. It wouldn't mm-hmm. do its most power. It wouldn't be most um, effective. It would just it would stand in frenzy if uh, we human shields, the not human shields. Uh, cat, uh, hy- 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 hyena shields um, might be an Feel option. Like shields. <laughs> um, I was just wondering how intelligent is it? Does it understand our speech? Uh, you're talking about the thing that's hunting you guys. Mm-hmm. The yes. Oh, very intelligent. So, basically, what you've found out, and I'll give you a a bit of a summary, especially since, you know, I'll consider it you've had more time to kind of chat with him, and I'm going to give you a bit of a summary of it so we don't have to go through the whole thing of it. So you don't have to decipher the way he talks and shit, too. Long story short, they are... um, Basically, towards the end of the first contact war with the Cutters, the Cutters decided to make more or less guerrilla fighters that yeah, they released. I, I, I had a feeling they were Cutter. Yeah, they made these more or less guerrilla fighters that they released into organic, into like human and organic territory that. More or less, the way they function is they just hunt. Like, they were kind of released on, like, a destroyed ship with a... Just like with this, with a, um emergency beacon going. And then they were just left to wreak havoc on supply lines and patrols and behind enemy lines. Okay. Um, and they are crazy. From what like, you've been told, they are probably, they all 
have mental illnesses. I, I was just thinking it, it got 80 stats, but you know, it also had 80 in insanity. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, basically. They have their psionically, unlike other cutters, they are primarily defensive mentally rather than offensive, which is kind of not how the cutters usually do shit. Yeah. But they're incredibly physical as well. We're mm-hmm. fighting a Terminator V3. You're fighting a jerk, like a, a, a Gene Stealer Terminator combo. I don't like that, uh, that word. Um, is there a deactivation? Is there like a kill code? They're, they're, they're actual creatures, living, thinking. They're crazy. Sentient. Yeah. But they are sentient. Um, I'm actually thinking of running back and then threatening his dogs with an explosive. He's going to go try and do something about it. Either get the dogs out or, you know, it's just like, hey, it's the only thing you care about and you're obsessed about them. So you let us go uh, and don't follow us. Or we blow the only thing you care about away. The only thing I will say for any plans you make in regards to messing with this thing is that Johnny is correct about it having a really high insanity number. How it's going to react is is not not always going to be predictable. Right. And it's not always going to be nice. (laughs) It's also not always going to be completely within its own self-interests either, because it's crazy. That's what I'm saying. You threaten them, he's going to go try and save his babies, and then we just blow him up. Or he might kill us because we threatened his babies. Well, he's going to do that anyways. So we're basically forcing him to start doing not smart things. Because he's 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 in control of the situation. We need to be in control of the situation. How you want to handle it is completely up to you. I was just giving you the advice of keep in mind that this thing is not mentally all there. You are dealing with, in essence, a serial killer that likes to wear people's skin that somebody is actively made to be more deadly. No, we're it's it's fine. It's fine. Just, I know exactly how to deal with this. Uh, blow it from up and from a distance was uh, the correct. Way to deal you with it from orbit, right? But then you'll have something floating around in space, most probably, and we haven't uh, killed it. And it also, since we're an advanced force. Uh, and as the war progresses, more chaos happens, and this thing could end up getting in our back lines as we push forward. You know, it'd be beautiful being a. If we have a cutter connection with Blast, Blast figure hmm, figures out how to contain it. We could then put this havoc on the enemy lines. Right, but then we would have to deal with it, and it doesn't. It also attacks civilians, particularly. It is its existence is to fight and kill whatever organic it comes in contact with. Mm. Yeah, so it doesn't really. It's supposed to have some form of like you know friend or foe, but at the time of the war that it was released, like they were released wide scale in. Mm-hmm. Um, it was more or less a war of extinction as far as the cutters were concerned. Fair enough. So they were they were swinging on whatever scale they were going to swing on. Yeah, they weren't real worried about whether or not what they were uh, thrown out was a fair fight or if they were killing civilians. Honestly, I was just trying to think of some gain we could get from this, but uh, at the end of the day, I think uh, it's going to be a loss. For you. Basically, what we need to do is. I destroy this bio. or whatever sample get you a sample um the best i can think about dealing with this thing is make it angry 
So it stops playing hit and run, and it doesn't. We focus around its obsession, the one th the one vulnerability it has, and we make it do something. We might may not be able to predict it. They may even roll dice for it, but. Oh, Make I it. have reaction sets for if you go, guys do certain stuff. Right. So as it knows this place better than we do, and it's not going to go well for us. So safety is non-existent throughout, and the farther we get away from its one vulnerability, the uh, the more we um, have a problem. And uh, if we all huddle up where its babies are, and then... Uh, I happen to rig some stuff, then we can do something about it. I don't know how it would do well with electricity. I might have to uh, rig I'm some sort of electrical like charge. We could convince it to get more of those things. Be like, I know a guy who can get you more of these cat dinas. You know, you actually do know the right contacts for that. As I do, go. because it's uh, we got monkeys. So. Yeah, you're saying contacts that could do that. <laughs> like, they they got a zoology role because they are something you could identify with zoology. Mm -hmm. it's just, yeah. you, you failed the role. Failed. Exactly. <laughs> they are something that you could buy as like, oh, yeah, like the uh, uh, the kind of crazy people that would buy like big game animals to have mm -hmm. as pets. I think crazy. I kind of see it as the, uh, the the one jackal hyena critter that went around with Riddick in one of the movies that he trained. Yes, about. actually, that is very much what the inspiration for them is. Nice. I'm going to look up their pictures for it because I love Riddick. Mm -hmm. But yes, that is a that is a very good comparison because that is that was the inspiration that I was having for the creatures specifically. Got a whole pack of about two dozen of them too. He got quite a few. 